You plot and scheme in service of one. Will you fight for their happiness? You trust, love, and care for one. Do you wish to make them yours alone? The country of boulders has crumbled. The country of flowers has wilted. Let them be. One knows the truth. In this world, there is no mercy. My yearning does not exist here. No. No. Look around. The windflowers have bloomed. Beautiful. The sight of them is rejuvenating, even in the midst of this brutal war. Let's take some to show the others. We can pick this blue one, and that red one. It feels wrong to pick them. Perhaps we should invite the others here instead. You know, I think you're right. That's a much better idea. I love how you take care of everyone, Mel. I am just following your example. <laughs> <laughs> a dream. Such sentiment no longer becomes me. <sighs> I must put this foolishness out of mind. The kingdom of Illusia is certainly chilly. Yes. And much easier to get into than Brodia. I'm almost disappointed. It was too easy if you ask me. Why were the checkpoints empty? Feels wrong. And kind of scary, if I'm being honest. It is odd that we've run into so few guards. What are your thoughts, Nell? <clears throat> are you feeling all right? It seems like you haven't been sleeping much. I heard you coming back to camp last night. It was pretty late. It will not affect my performance in battle, and that should be your only concern. She's in a bad mood. Just grumpy from not getting enough sleep. Let's give her some space. I do wonder where she slipped off to last night. Hopefully nowhere dangerous. Madeline's due to meet up with us soon. She's been spying on Illusia. The plan is for Celestia to bring her from the rendezvous point. Should be here any minute. Ah, there they are! Hello? Hello, Lord Nil. Lady Nell. I hope your journey wasn't too arduous. Gregory, you look well. Celestia was just filling me in on all that's occurred. I take it this is our esteemed guest. Yes. Madeline, meet the Divine Dragon from another world. Incredible. Outward differences aside, it feels as if our leader was brought back to life. What to say? I'm at a loss for words. I understand how you feel, Madeline. I was moved to tears upon our first meeting. It's all right, just let it out. Celestia, I am not going to cry. Would you please stop treating me like a child? Oh, of course. Apologies, dear. Divine One, pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Madeline of the Four Winds. I may be the youngest of our group, but I assure you I'm no less capable than the others. And I swear to protect you, come what may. Thank you, Madeline. I appreciate your help. Glad to be of service. You were such a snot-nosed little brat when we first met. But you've grown a lot, kid. I bet Mobier is proud too, especially since he's the one who recruited you. I was never snot-nosed. But, of course, I would be delighted to know I've made Mavier proud. Mavier? Is he...? Yes. The other member of the Four Winds and my second-in-command. Quite a fighter, too. Mavir once served as a knight to Sombron's army. When his superior died, he changed sides. His superior? Nell, Nell, was that one of your siblings? It was indeed, though not a sibling we ever met. I recall being surprised to learn that father allowed one of his children to retain a knight. 
for that very reason. I initially suspected Mavir of being a spy. I thought perhaps Sombron had tasked him with tracking Nil and me down, but my suspicions proved unfounded. Mavir earned the Divine Dragon's wholehearted trust. I can't wait to introduce you to him, Divine One. It was Mavir who founded the Four Winds. I would have considered him the top choice as leader, but that role fell to me for some reason. I bet it's because you're so old. Excuse me? Enough. Madeline, please give us your report. As of yesterday, Elugia Castle has been almost totally vacated. Only a few soldiers remain. The Queen and her royal guard are in Hisad Cathedral, performing a ritual of some kind. A ritual? You don't mean... They intend to revive Sombron. I'd consider that a safe guess. I anticipated this might happen. The Illusion people are quite devoted to our father, after all. We went to great lengths to secure the aid of a divine dragon. This response is only logical. I would not call it logical to resurrect a corpse. But they lack our ability to summon help from realms beyond. Uh, I must say, I'm conflicted at the thought of seeing father again. Now that I think on it, we have not heard from our mysterious enemy since Lethos. Perhaps this ritual has kept them occupied. On your guard, everyone. Someone on horseback is coming this way. Illusion cavalry? No. The rider is... Mavir? Mavir! Madeline, you are unharmed. What a relief. And it appears this area is still secure. What a surprise, Mavir! We were just talking about you. Good to see you, Lord Nil, Lady Nell. What are you doing in Illusia? Your orders were to stay in Solm, gathering intelligence. I intended to, but the Queen of Solm departed the palace. I was following her and ended up in Illusia. So the Queen of Solm is here. Why? Please forgive my grievous failure in not anticipating this. But Queen Tamara has entered Illusia, with bracelet in hand and troops by her side. It is, in effect, an invasion. I see. I wonder if this is related to Illusia's ritual in some way. Perhaps the Solmic army intends to storm the church, to prevent the resurrection of Sombron. I do not know if Illusia has yet moved to defend itself, but it is only a matter of time. A clash of armies will complicate the matter. We should proceed with haste. Yes, I can lead the way. Oh, I should probably introduce myself before we head out. You are the Divine Dragon from another world, am I correct? Uh, yes, actually. I am Mavir, second of the Four Winds. Pleased to meet you. Now, shall we? Hmm, I was kind of expecting another big reaction. The armies are fighting in front of Hassad Cathedral. The battle has already begun. We're too late. Perhaps this is to our benefit. We would be at a disadvantage against either force alone. Let us get to their leaders and reclaim the bracelets while they are distracted. Illusia is commanded by Queen Ivy and Solm by Queen Tamara. They hold the bracelets of the Strategist and of the Doting Sister, respectively. Defeating just those two should be achievable. Are you prepared for this, Divine One? I am. With your permission, I will head to the Cathedral and attempt to disrupt the ritual. An excellent idea. Proceed, Mavir. Very good. All right, let's go!
I am ready. I'm ready.
Illusia and Solm are in the thick of battle. Let us slip in and surprise their commanders. Awaiting orders. Ready and able. Whatever you need. At your service. What you got? I've got this. Ciao. Happily. Let us begin. You'll never take what's mine. <laughs> 
The winds are victorious. Unforgivable. We have some uninvited guests. <laughs> no matter. My reinforcements will annihilate them. Grant me strength.
Did you see that, Magir? and curses upon our enemy. Was that too much? Looks like Queen Ivy is making a move. In that case, so will we. What's this? 
Yes. We are much too far from the Soul Desert for a mirage, my dear. Are you truly another Ivy? Marvelous. A bit shy on confidence, perhaps, but we'll work on it. Please tell me I don't sound anything like you. And repeating all my father's mistakes as well. I'm going to have to set you straight. Father? <laughs> You mean that old failure of a king? He had the gall to try to stop the ritual. Even as a sacrificial offering, he wasn't worth much. You slew him? Why? For what? You've destroyed Illusia. Is there even anyone left to call you queen? There is no escape. Oh, cruel. What have you done? This battle is won. I may not be your first choice, but... Protected.
thousand curses upon our enemy. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. All we want is to stop them from reviving the Feldra. Why are you getting in our way? Good wind.
I lost? How? Now Sombron will return. But that's what you wanted, isn't it? The battle is decided. Relinquish the bracelets. Nell, what are you doing? I am on your side. We are bringing our lord, your father, back to life. I never asked you to do so. Lady Nell, a ritual was indeed taking place in the cathedral. The priest surrendered to our forces, and I have dismantled the altar. Splendid work, Mavir. That ritual was our last hope for Lucia! How could you? I will never forgive you for this. I don't care if you're Lord Sombron's daughter. Soldiers, if there is any strength left in you, kill that woman! We risk them regrouping if we draw this out. This is your final warning. Give us the bracelets. Never! I will never hand over Solm's bracelet. If you want it, you'll have to kill me first. That is a pity. So be it. Nell, what are you going to do? Avert your eyes, Divine One. Lest this sight disturb you. What? Ah! I always knew you were a monster. The bracelets are now ours. How could you? Don't you have any feelings? I did warn you to avert your eyes. We are finished here. Let us be on our way. How did we get here? Rest well, Emblem Soren, Emblem Camilla. This world never did interest me much. However, I do wish we were freed from fighting this pointless war. Is this goodbye already? I had a little more fight in me. Oh well. But next time, I hope we can have a proper chat. The emblems are safely in slumber. Only one bracelet remains. Nell, our mission was to take the bracelets. We said nothing, nothing about killing Ivy and Tamara. Two nations rulers dead. What will become of their subjects now? I did not kill them. It is impossible to take a life that has already been lost. What? Explain yourself. Those were no harmless little humans. Those were the corrupted. What? No. The royals we fought in Firenay and Brodia were the same. They're soldiers as well. All of them. You're saying they were all... dead? So are any other humans still alive? Or is it just... us? The common folk I spoke to during my mission in Firenay... Were they all corrupted? We've been fighting a war we had no hope of winning. Did you know of this as well, Lord Nil? I had my suspicions, but I was never sure. And they seemed much the same as they always were. Who could have done something like this? I do not know when they perished, nor when they became corrupted. They did not seem to be aware of their own condition either. You should have told us. I thought it would be best to conceal such an unpleasant truth. Always making decisions for others. Why not at least discuss this with Nil, or the winds? You are right. I apologize, but you come from another world, and you will return to that world when this war is over. I thought to spare you the sight of the corpses of your friends and allies, and you should certainly not be expected to kill them with your own hands. Yes, well... I truly did consider confiding in Nil and the Four Winds, 
I weighed the idea often, but had I told them, it would have only been a matter of time until you bore the same burden. You are just like the divine dragon of this world. You care deeply for your friends. Such strong bonds deserve consideration. So, what? You did all this to protect me? Perhaps I did. Either way, I regret my choice. I hope you can accept my apology. No. I'm sorry for getting upset. They were your friends, your allies, more than they were mine. You had to watch them die. Not only that, but kill them yourself. That must have been awful. And you put yourself through all that just to protect me. Thank you. I didn't realize how much you take care of everyone, Nell. <laughs> Those words. Hmm? Nell, what's the matter? Do not touch me! <sighs> you really hate me, don't you? <sighs> yes. I hate that I ever laid eyes on you. Would that anyone else had answered our prayer. Nell, please. This is too much. Lord Nell. The Divine Dragon of this world was more kind than anyone I have ever known. Protective, and caring, and brave, and strong. Accepting of us, despite our fell dragon blood. We admired the flowers together, and laughed together, and shared so much of ourselves. Every farewell was pain, no matter how brief. And every reunion gave me new life. You said you would be coming home. That very day, I had finally resolved to tell you. Nell, I'm sorry, I don't... Why did you have to go and die? I loved you. <laughs> you promised you would return. You promised to come home. We sealed the oath with our fingers interlocked. Your hand was warm. And next I felt it, cold. Your demeanor, your words, your kind spirit. They are all reminders of what I lost. I've been causing you pain just by being here. It is not your fault. Even I know that. But the more time I spend near you, the closer my feelings come to what they once were. And that would be unforgivable. Because you are not the one I loved. So that's why you've been so harsh and distant toward the Divine Dragon. I need to clear my head. Lady Nell, wait! It is dangerous for Nell to be out there alone. Wins, would you follow her? I will wait here, where it is safe. Of course, Lord Nell. <sighs> Nell left the bracelets behind when she stormed off. Oh well. Yeah. Will you not be going after her, Divine One? I think I should probably stay here. Perhaps you're right. It is going to be difficult for Nell to return. Vulnerability has never come easily to her. And now she has gone and confessed her love in front of everyone. I am certain she regrets it. It is a good thing the Four Winds are around to coddle her. You know her so well. I suppose I do. I am her twin brother, after all. I know all her favorite things. Her habits and preoccupations. I know how delicate she can be. But there is one thing I do not know, and am ever so curious about. How will she handle losing the one she cares for most a second time? Huh? I really must find out. I hope that is all right with you. What are you talking about? Look behind you, Divine One. Emblem Tiki! I roused her from her slumber. <laughs> Surprised? That is why I asked whether you intended to follow my sister. A pity you chose to remain here, with me. And now? 
Farewell, Divine One. I did it! I roused an emblem from slumber! At last, I have a power of my very own! Now I can finally be of use! Now I will no longer be a failure! I must show Nell right away! That would be ill-advised. Father! Continue to play the role of the weakling. Hide your true strength. Outwit the others. But... You are capable. Perhaps you are capable of becoming my true heir. Your power even surpasses your twin sisters. 